for centuries, travelers have flocked to Egypt to marvel at its unique monuments and temples. With a rich history spanning millennia, Giza Necropolis constructed over 4,000 years ago, the pyramids of Giza evoke the splendor of the ancient Egyptians and are the last remaining seven wonders of the ancient world. And how and who built the pyramids is still a mystery. In recent years there have been many new discoveries, a team excavating in Egypt, has discovered evidence of giant type of people who existed during some point in our timeline. This discovery is simply remarkable, as it changes history rather dramatically. The site is located in Avarus, Egypt. It is here, where a large number of hands were unearthed. Archaeologists found something that seems straight out of a horror movie, more than a dozen very large hands cut and buried in an ancient palace in modern Egypt and its surroundings. Many theorize that an ancient ritual may be linked to the piles of hands. The team of archaeologists who made the discovery determined that all the bones date from about 3,600 years ago, which indicates that they all come from the same ceremony. All hands seem to be abnormally large, and all are straight. They were classified into four different pits within what scientists believe was the actual Hyksos complex. Manfred by Etoch, the Austrian archaeologist in charge of the excavation of the ancient city of Avarus, explained to the Egyptian archaeology magazine that the hands seemed to support the stories found in ancient Egyptian writings and art. Although this would be the first physical evidence that this is true, the oldest sources seem to indicate that the soldiers cut off their right hands, and in return, they would claim a golden reward. Now the only question is why would they do that? Of course, cutting the hand was a symbolic means of removing the strength of the enemy, but the meaning is probably also supernatural since this was done in a sacred place and a temple as part of a ritual. Strangely, the hands were not evenly distributed among the holes. Almost all of them were in two of the pits, while the other two had only one hand each. So far there is no evidence to show what kind of people these hands belong to. When asked to explain why he thought this ritual could have been carried out, by Ehoch said, you deprive him of his power eternally, our evidence is the first and only physical evidence, each hole represents a ceremony. The two holes each containing a hand were placed directly in front of a throne room. This section of Egypt was once controlled by an occupying force that most historians believe were originally Canaanite, so there may be a connection to the invasion. The other hands, which may have been buried at the same time or at a later date, are on the outer grounds of the palace. These sacrifices are not surprising in an area that faced a foreign invasion. The Egyptians often called their gods to punish the invading armies with plagues, famine or general misfortune. It is possible that these sacrifices were part of a curse against the invading armies. Often Egyptian drawings and art, depicts large-sized humans living in the lands of Egypt. While it is difficult to scale exactly just how large they were there is now physical evidence, that they actually existed. It would be interesting to get the exact size of these oversized hands. Actually, these large to very large hands are the very first physical evidence archaeologists have found of a practice that's widely represented in ancient Egyptian art. Some think that these hands were presented in such a way to impress the rulers. Sometimes the soldiers would cut off the right hand of their enemies and later present them to their leaders. After this, they would hopefully be impressed enough, to give the soldier some form of monetary wealth like gold in exchange, there is much more that needs to be investigated, but many signs point to this being a kind of ritual for a god or gods. It is not really known who these hands belong to. But the fact that the hands were abnormally large indicates that these people were specially selected, which is more characteristic of a sacrifice than killing an invading army. The fact that two hands were buried separately may indicate that these offerings were intended to be especially satisfactory to the gods.